Hello, dear students. In this lecture, we will find magnetic field inside and outside of a long cylindrical conductor having radius R and current I is passing through it. Please note that the current is uniformly distributed over the cross-section area of this conductor. Now to find the magnetic field inside and outside of this conductor, we apply Ampere's law and that is closed integral B dot DL is equal mu naught I. Now, first, to find the magnetic field inside of this conductor, we draw Imperial loop of radius R. And this R is less than this capital R, which is nothing but the radius of this conductor. Because the magnetic field at each and every point of this Imperial loop is in circular form and uh, also in the same direction of each small element DL. So, there is zero degree angle between this magnetic field and small element DL. Hence, we can write B dot DL, left hand side of this equation is like B DL cos of zero degree. Cos of zero degree tends to one, so we get B DL. By taking the closed integral of DL, we get circumference of this Imperial loop, and that is two pi r. We keep the magnetic field outside of this integral because magnetic field is uniform at each point on this Imperial loop. So finally, we get B into two pi r. This is our equation number one. Now, we concentrate on the right hand side of this equation. First, the total current enclosed by this uh, cylinder that is nothing but uh, total current divided by pi r square, which is the cross-sectional area of this conductor. Now, because we are interested to find the total current passing through only this imperial loop, so we can write i over pi r square multiply pi r square. Hence, this is the total current enclosed by loop circle r. Now, equating equation one and two, we get B into two pi r is equal mu naught i over pi r square into pi r square, which can be written as magnetic field B is equal mu naught i over two pi into r over r square, where you can see magnetic field is directly proportional to the distance r. Now to find the magnetic field outside of this conductor, we draw an imperial loop of radius r, which is greater than the radius of the conductor because the magnetic field at each and every point of this Imperial loop is in circular form and in the same direction of each small element DL. Hence, we can take uh, the closed integral of DL again, which is nothing but the circumference of this outside Imperial loop, and that is two pi R, because magnetic field is uniform, so we keep the magnetic field outside of this integral. So finally, we get B is equal to mu naught I over two pi R. Because this Imperial loop is enclosing the whole current which is passing through this cylinder. So we have here the whole current I. So finally, we can write B is equal to mu naught I over two pi R. That's all for the today's lecture. Thank you so much for watching. I request you to please share this lecture with your friends.